Hello, how's it going? And welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Members of the best podcast, not the worst podcast. It's just an All Right Podcast. So we are literally in the car right now in Starbucks in the drive through We ain't waiting. And I need to bring something up right now to you people. I need to bring something up right now. We haven't done podcasts in over a month. And do you want to know why? Tell them, Nick. Why? Because, tell them why. <laughs> why? You don't even know. Anthony here just... Got a bit of a lackadaisy. Bit of lackadaisy. Some would say lazy. And as you'll notice, he's hogging the microphone as well. That's what happens. I uh, we got this microphone. I got it for myself. I got a brand new setup, a whole setup as well. Um, but right now uh, we're going to be using this microphone between us for a while until Nicola gets her own microphone, or until I get my microphone. Whoever wants to have a fight for it. Do you want it? Do you want a fight for it? No. Why? Because I bet you. Right, so that's fighting words, and we, we don't take kindly to fighting words out here. So, we're literally at Starbucks right now. We're going to get our little Starbuckies, our little book of stars. We have some free coupons to use. You have coupons? I have coupons, yeah. They don't, um, for some reason, I had used up my coupons, but now they've magically reappeared, so hopefully I'll get away with them today. Okay, that's felony right now. <laughs> that's, if Starbucks watching, please, don't ban us from any Starbucks that you have. Please. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so um, we tried to do a podcast last weekend, um, and it didn't work. We got halfway into it, and the battery died, and I think that was a, a nice little sign uh, to do for us today. I am actually so paranoid about my hair right now. Look at that little part coming out. Are you going to be booking an appointment? I'm, I'm going to book an appointment. I'm going to book an appointment in the barbers, and that's what I'm going to do, um, because this hair, you've been cutting my hair. Like, you only let me cut your hair, I think it was January? No, it was Christmas. Mm. Christmas, you let me cut your hair for the first time since, like, you, the last time you got a cut in a barber's. Mm. And that was probably, like, September or something like that. I've got to be honest. Do you know when girls say that, oh, I haven't got my hair done in a while, I need to go to a, a hair salon, and I don't, I don't understand, I'm like, well, come here, it's just hair, just tie it up or something, or just yeah. do something with it. That's, I understand now that it's very important. I haven't gotten my hair cut since 31st of July last year. And that's, that's the time I got it cut. Like, I had it really long and then I got it cut up. Sorry, I was just, I was just checking if the microphone was plugged in, it is. And I haven't got, I haven't got it cut since then. So it's nearly been a year. It's been like 10 months. 10 months? But you cut your own hair, you do your own fringe. I cut my fringe, but I don't cut this, the long part. Like Why not? Because I wouldn't be able to do it properly because they have layers in it. Yeah, I, I, me and Casey said yesterday, you look like a Russian woman. You could pass off as a Russian woman. Because you have the hair of, you, you could be called Helga. You look like a girl called, horrible name. You, you, you look like a girl called Helga. That's like a real rough woman name. You look, you don't look rough, you look beautiful as I always. <laughs> but when you get a bit angry, you get, get angry though. You get a bit scary. I haven't gotten angry in a long time. What's the last time I got angry? Jesus, papaya. Let me take <laughs> out the list, huh? <laughs> Let me take out the list. Um, no, you haven't. No, no, in all fairness, now you haven't gotten angry in a while. Um, why that is? Why? Because I've been um, embracing my mental health, my spiritual health. I've been doing chakras. I've been doing meditations. Oh, that's something we can talk about then. Nicola <laughs> believes that these stones that are painted different colors. They're not painted. They're actual stones. They're not painted. <laughs> let me let, let me right, right, let me finish right. <laughs> Back in the 70s and 80s, that's what guys used to do to girls and they'd turn them in just to have sex with them. Do you think it's coming back? There's a science in it. There's a what? There's science in it. Go. Well, I'd have to research it for you, but all these stones have different minerals. Have you researched it? Yes, I read it. So you should know it. You don't have to research it. But I don't know the exact... Maybe you can get up the chakra after this then and you yeah. can read it a bit. Yeah, I'll get the exact details for you. But like they have um, scientific qualities and properties to them. They're minerals, so they actually have these effects. We're going right up to the Starbucks drive to right now. Uh, I just want a, a small hot chocolate please, but if it's a free coupon, yeah, we got coupons. That's what we are. We're coupon people and coupon family. We couponing. Right, so here we go. Here, listen, listen. Hi, can I get a venti classic hot chocolate with no cream and two sugars? And can I get a venti um, ice hibiscus tea lemonade with extra peach syrup? That's it. 
when you talk to people, you don't talk, you, like, when you talk to me, you're like, hey, hey, how's it going? Oh. Hey, hey, give me a kiss. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Everyone what, has a phone voice. That's not a phone, that's a box, and that's yeah, a normal person. Like talking to someone on the phone, it's talking to a speaker. You have a phone voice. Yeah, we all have a phone voice. We all. Why do we all put in this persona of someone else? When you pick up the phone or when you're talking to someone, you have to be polite. So you're like, "Hello, can I take your order?" But what about what about a person that's always polite and always friendly? Like, have you ever met someone that's really nice but they don't put in the phone voice because that's a phone voice? Yeah, but think of it, right? If you're around someone that's like that, they must not be 100 percent comfortable with you because if they're always on their phone voice. They're not showing the real self. What happens if there was someone that's genuinely like that? I think I know someone like that, and I don't want to say their name because you know them. And but I think. Come on, spill it. No, spill it on the pod. I can't. I can't. Spill it on the pod. No, I can't. But just say, for example, if this person. A boy, I won't, girl. What? Boy, a girl. A girl. A girl. Okay. And if because they're so nice to us, and they seem like a really nice person all the time, but if they got like upset about something or angry about something then they'd show like oh they're actually they can well that's just tone of voice that's just tone of voice but maybe that's their voice all together maybe that's just their voice but like if I talk to you yeah if I talk to you I talk normal yeah if I talk to someone on the phone that's in a government job or so I hello how are you yeah that's Grant if I talk to one of my friends I'm like all right what's the story yeah Grant different it's different voices we're all different people in one side one body uh, we all have multiple personality disorder and <laughs> we just um. <laughs> When you think about it, when you think no, about we just it, all have different personalities and different in one body. Care. You're the one that believes in chakras, and you're not telling me that we're not all different people in one body. Yeah, we we can have different. What it is is you have different energies. So on whatever energies. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. It's your energy. So like on any particular day, you could wake up and have a certain energy. But on if something wrong happened that day then you could show that you have the negative energy and that you're like embracing all these negative feelings and throwing them out on people or objects so like different times of the day of the year or of whatever you'll have different feelings and different expressions that's good that's good i blanked out halfway through that because i'm not interested in all that i want you i want to ask you more questions about your chakra and stuff as well and i'm not i have to say i'm not i'm only a beginner i don't know much but I know a little, that's all. <laughs> I'm not a beginner, I know I much, I know a little. Do you know what? That's a good slogan. <laughs> I want to become mayor of this city. Um, I, I'm only a beginner, don't know that much. I know a little. I know a little. <laughs> that's that's, really mean, that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> I don't know much, I'm only a beginner. Right, so Here we're we just go. going to the window here now. Yeah, um, I have coupons to use. She uses a coupon constantly. She's a robber. She's a fraud. She's going for fraud. Yeah, please. She's fraud. Right now, she's doing fraud. We need to show you something right now after this. Um, yeah, so, um, look at your app right now. Look at your app right now. See if my coupons are Yeah, see if your coupons gone. Because she's done this so many times right now, she's literally fraud. No, this is no, fraud. No, 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 no. I had five coupons, right? I used two on my birthday, because you get a free one on your birthday. I used two yesterday, mm. so then that means I had one left, right? Mm. But that one just stays there all the time. Yeah. But my two that I used yesterday were still there. So I use them now, and now it's saying I still have one uh, coupon and I have the other one so I have two left still. You have two left. You have two and left. I still have 700 stars so that means I have three drinks as well. Wow. Yeah. And how many like for Starbucks now um, we're just going to shout them out and promote them uh, hopefully they will not need any promotion but we want to get sponsored. <laughs> yeah that's what it is we want to sponsor. We always come over here every weekend well not in the past well we still come over every weekend but we just don't do a podcast. Yeah. We're, we're loyal customers. We are loyal customers. And hey, Starbucks, hit us up. I'm losing my hair by the looks of it. I actually do. What do you think about this haircut? Do you think that I'm actually losing... Like, oh, that almost spilled in your car. Do you think I'm actually like getting drive-ins right now while oh, going through a drive through No, I think you just do this a lot. And you're like, oh, look at me hair. It's going back. Look at the way it is right now. Look. Look at it. Yes. 
That's Just the way Because it you have it, you don't have it combed over to the side. Usually you'd have it combed over and then you wouldn't see. Yeah, you wouldn't see it. But it's also because I've been getting haircuts off uh, an illegal barber. It's not illegal. You're illegal. It's illegal to give people haircuts. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It is. You're not allowed to go to the barbers. I'm not going to the barber. Oh, I did. I went to you. You're yeah, a barber. I'm not a, a professional. Doesn't matter. You're a barber. You're using scissors and a shaver. Yeah. You didn't even use scissors on me. Shivers. 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 There's another episode for the podcast. Do you want to talk about the sticker? Yeah, so, oh, yeah. So Starbucks came out with this new thing, and it's a sticker over it. Instead of the green stern stick, yeah. they give you a little sticker. Well, I, what, like, I, all right, we're going to be, we're going to, here's an opinion. And here's the opinion right now. Starbucks security. That's what I'm going to call it. Because it secures the lid. <laughs> yeah. Right. Would you rather go for the sticker, or would you rather go for the green straw? The green straw. I agree. It has multi-purposes. Multi-purposes, yeah. please. To the fans <laughs> right now, tell us what multi-purposes they have. So, because you have the little mouth hole on the lid. Mouth hole. Okay. Yes, that's what the part you drink out of, right? That's when a weird way of so, Hi, welcome to Starbucks. <laughs> Would you like a, a cup in the lid with a mouth hole on it? Well, no, they all come like that. Okay. Okay, so when you put the straw into the mouth hole of the lid, you push it down far enough so it's secure. It That means it's leak proof. So it's serving straight away the function of the sticker. But also you have the straw end, so you can also stir your drink. So it has two purposes, whereas the sticker only has one. Starbucks, get your shit together right now. But it's probably cheaper to do the stickers. That's what it is. They're saving the environment. Maybe all these go in and... Yeah, you see those green sticks on the ground all the time. Yeah, but that 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 could be that as well. But you can also see this. Oh my god! You just secured your sticker. And that's why. Look, that's why Starbucks. You play with your sticker. No, you need to hold the mic right now. You spilt it already. What? No, they done that. Oh, okay. That's They're dry. Messy. Have they been using this cup already? No, that's they probably dry. just spilt it. Yeah, but it's dry. Yeah, when it came out of the machine first. Take your stick. Wait, wait. <laughs> Here's some ASMR for you. Now take your first sip. Stop! You're allowed slurper. Don't put it in me mouth. No, but you're out. you're allowed slurper. So I'll do. stop. Yeah. Okay. Put the mic away. Okay. No. Yeah, like that. Don't okay. like. It'll still pick up the sound. You don't have to go right up to the face. It's not <laughs> going up to the face. Go. Just drink. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it. Hey, go, go. Leave it. <laughs> Right. No, no, listen, listen. Okay. Every time I do that, it's like you come closer. Stop. Don't. I'll stay here. No. I'm going to show you where to stay. <laughs> It'll still pick it up. Stay right okay. there. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After all was that. Was that worth it? Yeah, that was worth it, was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you have the need You need to learn to talk into that microphone. And don't put it too close to your mouth. Even though I do it. Yeah, you're like, hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey, motherfucker. Yeah, but um, yeah. So we thought we'd do a podcast and start going back and doing podcasts this week. Sorry, I forgot my yeah, job. <laughs> yeah. We have to do a podcast again this week, um, because we, I, I just, we had, I had my final college. I am now finished college. Boop boop. Yeah, we. I still have to see if I have passed. My um, teachers actually emailed me saying I got a distinction. In editing, so if anyone wants a job editing, I can edit for you. I got um, a new laptop as well. You did. Um, so, and it's oh my god! All right, hold on, let me go. To, why is the door open to Starbucks? Someone See, left I, it open. I, I I honestly believe that I do have ADHD or no, some you kind. Just of, got distracted. No, no. I'm telling you now, I have some form of ADHD. And we're going to go and get a test and record on the podcast for Patreon. <laughs> I'd love to do a Patreon. Oh, I've been over there all this time. Um, to the shop. Yeah, I'm sorry. We haven't really been thinking about the shot and the angle. Don't worry, you can still hear us. Um, let us know what you think about the, the new quality of the mic as well. Um, I really like it and I guarantee it's going to sound good on the playback. Do we need two? Um, I think so. I think we need two. One for me, one for you. Um, because we, we'll, I'll, I'll purchase it. I'll, I'll get another one. Um, maybe you'll get the cheaper one. This is the most expensive mic they have for a video oh, mic. Oh, really? shotgun mic. Um, retailed at like 200 and something euro. Um, that's not that expensive. That's very expensive from people. On no, the but poster. that's not how much it was. Oh, wasn't it? No. 
<laughs> Get your prices right. Sorry. Your price is right. I'm Mr. Price. <laughs> um, yeah, so what was I talking about? Sorry, editing. Yeah, no, I got a distinction in that. No, no, no. I was talking about editing and my college forced. Oh, yeah. And um, basically, let me hold the mic there because I feel more comfortable. So what happened was, oh my God, I guarantee, I'm so sorry for anybody that's listening and they have... <laughs> we can't just have one conversation, can we, without... one is it mm. don't taste it no i really don't no no i really don't no let me smell it no nah, it wouldn't be my cup of tea but it's tea exactly that's why i said <laughs> it would be my cup of tea it'd be your cup of tea <laughs> rice slurpee relax it's very nice well so uh yeah recommend. i got <laughs> <laughs> i got a distinction in editing i got a distinction in uh communications anyone that's went to college this year Fair play to you for sticking it out, um, because it was so difficult um, this year because I didn't get the college experience. Yeah, I got the online experience. Online experience. Um, do you know people that say, "Oh, I don't want to hang out with people," and there's memes all over about like, "Oh, I just want to be on my own," or like, if someone says, "Hey, do you want to come out?" and it's like, "Oh no, I'm busy," like. The meme came into reality and it showed a lot of people actually didn't want to be like on their own. They actually want to be out with people. I think when all this pandemic ends, or as um, the Hey Babe podcast says, the pandy. They call it a pandy because Sal would say um, Sal Volcano from Practical Jokers and Chris Stefano from um, Chris Stefano. <laughs> He's a stand-up <laughs> comedian and they have their own podcast, Hey Babe. Um, not a sponsor. Um, but... They, they put up an episode and they said the pandy. Mm. And he goes, and Sal goes, oh, that sounds real nice compared to the pandemic. I, yeah. I might call it. And they called an episode the pandy dandy or something like that. Um, yeah, so I got um, distinctions as well. Um, I still have to hear back from more uh, of my teachers. Uh, you have to pass every single class. You cannot fail one class. Yeah. And what I learned was is that I don't need college the college was helpful. I learned more about script writing. I still have more to learn about script writing. That's what I want to do. I want to script write, uh, be a script writer, a screen writer, a screenplay writer. You know, and um, that's what I want to do. So I have to learn more about that. So I might do courses and that and do a bit more. But um, what have you learned from? Here's a question: From seeing me for the past, like, what? Well, it's like nine months, isn't it? In the college, September till the oak, um, about nine months or so. What have you seen? from your experience in college to seeing me and what I'm going on about in college, if that makes sense. I don't think it does. Like, compare my yeah, experience yeah, to yeah. yours? Yeah, thanks for... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know what... Yeah. Well, I suppose, like, when I went to Maynooth, that was four years, and that was, like, me moving away from home, you know, living in a new town, meeting new people, whereas you kind of... You were at home a lot of the time on your laptop. You had met... Like, you'd gone into college for a couple of weeks... In some, in like the first semester, and you'd obviously you'd met friends with your classmates and stuff like that. Mm. But it's just it's different because you're sitting at home on the laptop all day. Like you're not actually getting to move between buildings, to use the equipment, you know, to actually talk to your teachers and stuff like that. So mm. it's completely different. I have a teacher. I actually I'm gonna name my favorite teachers right now uh, that I had this year. Um, I'm not going to name the full names. Um, there was a guy, a photography teacher called John. Uh, there still is. I don't know why I said why. He didn't pass away suddenly. So plays John, don't. Um, but he taught me photography. And when I was doing YouTube, I fell out of love with all this type of stuff. I didn't really want to do it anymore. I just wanted to write scripts. I didn't care about camera work. I didn't care about that. John is a photography teacher and he sh learned me about the camera and you know black and white films and so you know and I actually have been doing that lately with testing stuff out yeah. and he's the person that made me fall back in love with what I once was in love with if that makes any sense yeah the, uh, the camera and you know uh, telling stories visually and so um, so um, and he's very inspirational as well I remember on the first day of college when we were going to meet everybody 
John came into class and he was like, look at all you people, you're all so young, you, you know what I mean, you're full of creativity and inspirational. Yeah. And he jumps on his first day in class, John jumps up onto the counter, slips, falls, catches himself, gets right back up, doesn't even address what happened to him, keeps on going. John Mann is a character. Oh, yeah, he, he slipped. Now, he jumped up onto um, the tables, but where the laptops were, the clothes. He goes, is that, he goes, is that window? Like, he reminds me of a different version of Robin Williams in uh, a Dead Poet Society. That's why he reminds me of. He's just so inspirational. And he, he jumped up onto the counter, slipped. <laughs> Caught himself. No one said a word. No one laughed. No one yoked. And we no exactly. And we were like, "What the absolute fuck, right?" So we were like, "Right, fair enough, Grand." And he got back up. He got down. He started talking again. He wanted. We he said it's too cold in here. We're gonna shut the window. John jumped back up on the table. Slipped again. <laughs> Caught himself, but was still talking. And you know you're so good with people and connecting to people when you slip twice. twice and still have the attention of the whole room. But that's that's something interesting to watch someone getting up on a table. Mm. Does he not have one of those big sticks that you... The man's in his 60s, and I honestly feel like the man has, like, the imagination, like, like he has the heart and soul of a 20-year-old. But could he not have just got a big stick to close the window? John doesn't care. <laughs> John just wants to jump and fucking leap and, you know, and fall and catch himself. And you guys, if you fall down, you can get back up again. Like, do you get me? Um, I also had a teacher called uh, uh, Sarah. Um, and she's a script writing teacher. And when I used to, when I was writing scripts, I wouldn't write a character analysis. That's what that is, is that you literally develop your character, their name, their age, their background, you know, what they like, what their beliefs are. And by the time you go to write your script, you understand your character in and out. Mm. You get you me? Know I know your flaws. I know I know you as a person. So if I was writing you into a script, I know that you don't like this and I don't like that. Yeah. You get me? I can write you as a character. I can write down all that information. There's 30 questions or so, um, I think. And it's absolutely... It's great. It's so handy now. I have more films that I want to do. I wrote um, a film called Unattended in her class. And she gave me... I wrote the first draft. And she gave me an idea. And I took it on board. Mm. And I remember doing it. And writing it and changing it. And gave it back. She literally turned around to me and said to me... Thanks for listening. And thanks for taking my opinion on and voice. And I, I was like, no problem at all. And then... Um, who else is there? There is John, there's Sarah, oh Jesus, sorry, there's John, we're going to beep that out, um, I don't want to say our full name mm. on the podcast, they're my two favourite teachers, yeah. they really are, and I'm not going back to college now, mm. not in September, but I, it's, no, it's not that I'm never going to go back, I think I'm going to wait about a year or two and go back and fill in my, my film degree for college. Become an expert. Become an expert and hopefully get into production and actually work on a set and maybe be a script writer or so, you know. Um, so, we have literally um, a few minutes left. So, Nicola has um, a horse segment now. Um, please take the mic, Nick. And, um, yeah, I just want to say if any of them teachers are watching, thanks very much for helping me out. And for you as well, thanks very much, very much for your support. And um, congratulations to our friend James, who's yes. uh, past college as well. So, well done. Um well you done. did it, buddy. <laughs> you did it. Well done to you, though, for actually, though, know, like, getting through it. Because it was a tough year yeah. and it was, a, like, hard to do. So yeah, I had to... What I had to do was is that I created a whole film. It took a few weeks to organise. And I got told, because of COVID, I wasn't allowed to do my film. Yeah. And if you don't do a film, you don't pass college. Yeah. So I literally had two days to write a script. I had two days to film. And edit. 
and I've done it all, and it's called A Good Girl. I'll leave it down in the, in the description below if you want to go watch it. It's my college short film that I made this year about a dog, and yeah, it's very sad. Get some tissues, yeah. But it's a good short film for something that I just came up with in one night. Yeah. Jimmy, I made it up at night time, and then I done the second draft the next day, and the third draft that evening. Yeah. You know, so and then I went out and filmed it the next week, and we filmed it in one day, and then yeah, yeah so it was it was good. Uh, yeah, it was it was great. It was indeed. Right, so here you go. Hold the mic. Okay. So we're going back to the chakras we were talking about. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I'll get a definition here, right? So it says chakra means wheel and refers to energy points in your body. They are thought to be spinning discs of energy that should stay open and aligned, as they correspond to bundle of nerves, major organs, and areas of our energetic body that affect our emotional and physical well-being. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So there's seven of them. So they're all related to different points in your body, mm. and it's trying to connect that energy and balance it into being positive and being like not negative okay so to do this you can use the crystals to balance your en energies mm. so the first one the crown chakra that is a violet white crystal and you place it on the top of your head okay its main functions are knowledge understanding inspiration spirituality positive thoughts and higher consciousness they also have like different connection Speaking points. Speaking to the mic, Nicola. I am. Thank you. They have different connection points with your body as well. So, because we only have a few minutes left, I'll just I will do one an episode. How about right, that? Yeah, do one an episode. So this this crown chakra, the physical effects it can have on your actual body and your glands. So it can affect your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, your cerebral cortex, your brain, your hypothalamus, and your central central nervous system. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So the types of crystals you can use. I'm going to mess up these names. Okay. okay. Amethyst. No. Clear quartz. Do you know what would have been good if I brought my crystals with me and we could have shown them Come on, on camera? Come on, the audience. Yeah, yeah, we're almost I'll bring them for next week. Um, Can't wait for that episode. Selenite, Amitrine, Serpentine and Lodolite. Okay, so the one I have is a clear crystal. I'll bring it in next week and show you guys. It's like a show and tell. Um, so it's like a clear crystal and when you're doing meditation, like... You can either sit down or you can lie on your back and you put the crystal on the part of your body So it goes on like the top of your head. So And you can listen to these meditations mm. talking through them Or you can just put on music and you're meant to focus your energy into that crystal mm. to balance your energy mm. and that connection point with your body so we should try it maybe live next week. We will. We'll try it. We'll try it live next week. Um, we'll probably go to a different room and you can do it. Maybe maybe we'll put that as an episode on the podcast. Um, is it just a video altogether of me oh, just lying down? We'll all, all the, all the after your show, all this, we'll do a different one. Um, yeah, guys, so thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of the podcast. Don't worry, we're back. And we're going to stay here for a while. Um, and we're going to hopefully get a new space as well. Uh, and it's going to look so good. But guys, thanks for watching. My name has been Anthony. I'm Nicola. And this has been the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast. It's not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. Bye. Bye.